My name is Paweł Spechalski and I kind of miss the times when, when you got something from the shop, you were able to expect, you expected that this is working and you do not have to do anything about it anymore. Apparently right now this is not, not the case because uh, everything is driven by the software and you can update the software very easily. So manufacturers, producers, distributors just put the crap on the market and then you, then they will, let's say, worry about stuff and uh, make a new versions of the firmware that is running. This is exactly the case that's right now for me with the Furious FPV through the X module I just got me and apparently there is a newer version of the firmware and it fixes somewhere so I wanted to do it and because I wanted to do it and probably if you are watching this you never updated the firmware on the through the X uh, from Furious FPV module for the Fatshack goggles let's have the experience together what you will need of course you will need a goggles with the module itself, with the module installed, the battery and the smartphone. It can be either iPhone or the Android. I will be using Android with installed the TrueDX application. And the link, at least for sure, for the um, Android version will be in the description for the Apple. Maybe I will put it, maybe you will just have to find it. And the procedure is, well, let's say, not so complicated. Let's, let's have a look. First of all, of course, you have to plug the battery into your uh, receiver and here in the menu we have to go to the Bluetooth section and make sure that the Bluetooth is on and in the slave mode. It cannot be master mode, it has to be on in the slave mode. When this is done you are, well, let's say halfway there. Then let's start the through the X application and let's search for the found modules. There is actually one module, so let's connect to the module. Now, now the module will ask you politely if it is you connecting to it, because yeah, it's us. Let's accept and right now you have the full control of the module from your smartphone. So you can change bands and stuff like that, see RSSI, but this is nothing that's really important to us. What we want to do is we want to update the firmware. How to do it? Go here to the settings and there's only one position called the update firmware. Now we will have to wait for a minute and what, is, what does it say? Uh, current firmware is 1.1 and here they hidden this very well and there is a version the version list appears when you click somewhere here it's not very very responsive but okay we want to update to firmware 1.2 and what yes yes i need yes uh yes let's agree and we wait and we wait we wait oh it's not very fast. Apparently, is as, is this as fast as the smart port update procedure? I only hope that the screen will not shut down before this is done. But so, something is happening. Uh, see, on the LCD, on the Furious FPV, it writes update. Uh, it writes update. That means it's probably well updated. So um, now I will wait and uh, oh it was beeping interesting i have restarted the phone restarted the goggles restarted the model check the connections and now let's see if maybe right now after the restart we will be able to update the firmware on the furious fpv through the x fat shark goggle module Let's see. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe this time it will be slightly better. Okay, the goggles are updating. I will not be touching them. Maybe because I touched them it was broken. Who knows? Um, so let's wait. In anxiety. Will it work? This time. Previously it broken at 15%. It's still at 15%. 16. Okay. 20, 21, what an emotions, it's like watching the game, uh, too bad I'm not watching any games, 28, 30, 
35. Okay, now there will be an edit because this is definitely taking too much time. 100%. 100% and the goggles are still saying that they are updating. Okay, updating. I'm still not touching the goggles. Don't want to jinx it. Updating. Restarted. It looks like a good sign. Yes, amazing, fantastic. It went into 1.2 version firmware. Let's connect. And let's go to the... Yes, I have the latest version. So, bottom line, yes. Uh, in theory, this is very simple. To update the firmware on your Furious FPV through the X module, you only, only need your smartphone and the internet connection and the Bluetooth compa cap compatibility, capability and the connection between those two. And in theory, it works out of the box. In practice, no, it doesn't work out of the box and you might have to be prepared to restart your goggles, restart your phone, fix the connection, try again. Hopefully, hopefully the whole update process is so smart that if it fails, uh, you still have the previous previous version. At least, like I said, um, I hope so. I hope so, and I hope they will fix this firmware version choosing, which is really like, what the hell are they trying to pull? Okay. Um, that's for all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye. That was interesting. For a second, I was really scared that I've broken something here or here. Luckily, it worked. Okay, until the next one. Bye bye.